Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, San Antonio. Another day. It's a new day with your host, Dr. Judy Day. I am glad to be here today. I just thank and I praise God for all his many blessings. Amen. You know, the Bible said this is the day that the Lord has made and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Today, I have a guest with me today. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. I am really excited um, about my guest on today. Um, I was telling, I said, I couldn't really say her first name. <laughs> so, but I could, I could kind of say her last name. And, and we have today, uh, Sister Weatherly. Yes. Weatherly. And she is a recording artist. So glad for you to be here today. Well, thank you Amen. for having me. Amen. Now, you, you tell the audience your, your first name. My first name is Yatron. Yatron. Yeah. Now, y'all, young people probably can say that. My <laughs> mouth is, the words just don't come out as, 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 like it should. But anyway, I am so glad to have her here. Uh, she is a member of the Fountain of Praise. Uh, that's right. Yes. That's the Fountain correct. of Praise. Yes. And the pastor is um, uh, Pastor Harvey. Hell. Hell. Sorry, amen. Hell. Amen. Amen. And you all are located, um, where are you located at? 503 Station Street in right. Converse. Okay. Yes. Amen. In, in Converse. And she is the worship leader. She is a worship leader there. I have been in the service and it is amazing. It's awesome. 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 And she's also a songwriter. Yes. Amen. Amen. And you know, uh, I, I remember the, where the, where the location that y'all in. Yes. I remember it way back before the, your church was there, mm -hmm. and it's like totally different, yes. you know. So to be, you know, to come and visit and see where it's at now yes. and where it was, mm -hmm. you know, the people was there. So it's just an awesome. It's very awesome, and you know, a lot of time, you know, when you go to church and you and you hear the praise, you know, you get out the car and you can hear the praise. You know, usually yes. when I go, my grandson like to go with me, and I tell you, we be. He'd be like, come on, Grandma, come on, Grandma. <laughs> he like, want to get in there, want to yes. get in there because of the praise, you know. Yes, and I just thank and I praise the Lord, you know, for just every time I go, I have a, a new experience with the Lord just really, truly blesses me. Yes, but I want to talk a little bit um, about you. I uh, want you to kind of say a little bit about yourself. Okay. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, um, we recently uh, relocated to San Antonio about two years ago. Two years. Um, we were in Alabama. Mm -hmm. I'm a uh, I'm a military brat. Okay. So I've traveled a little bit um, with with my mother. Oh, okay. And I was uh, born and pretty much raised in Colorado, Colorado oh. Springs, Colorado. It's cold up there. It is cold. Yeah. Yes. A lot of snow. Um, beautiful place though. Yeah. Beautiful mountains. I think the last time I was there, they had like the you were talking about the mountains. I went yes. somewhere and it was. So high up on the mountain, I got sick. I'm yeah, like, oh, you, God. Yeah, you they say you have to drink your, a lot of yeah, water. You got to yeah. take your time getting up there. Yeah, it's beautiful, but altitude. it was just, mm -hmm. I was like, ooh, wait a minute. <laughs> a you lot know, of people I, do it that. It was one area I was in, it was just really, really high. And I yes. was like, oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> you know? Yeah. So I was glad when I came down uh -huh. off that mountain. <laughs> so we tried to go up the mountain, but I was glad was to get out of that mountain. Amen. It was too high. I Amen. get that, yes. Amen. That, yeah, that's home, beautiful place. Um, but just, I, I've been singing um, and ministering since I was 14. 14. I was 14 okay. years old and I was uh, with a church in Alaska, Anchorage, Alaska. I've been to Alaska. Yeah, okay. I've been to Alaska, Anchorage, uh, Alaska. Another beautiful place. Yes, it is. Yes. Yes, it is. I was in Alaska. I have an older son that was uh, born in Alaska. Okay, okay. So you're talking about Anchorage, Alaska, yes, right? Yes, Anchorage, yeah. Alaska. They got them high places too. They do. A lot of <laughs> snow. Amen. A lot yes. of snow. Amen. Amen. Yeah. So um, you said you've been here two years. Yes. You and your family been here. You're married? Yes. Your husband, tell me about your, my husband yeah. and I, my husband is a, a pastor. He's been uh, pastoring, uh, ministering for uh, over 30 years. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And he and I have had the opportunity to um, established some churches um, in, in Colorado. Oh, okay. uh, we assisted a church in, in Michigan mm -hmm. and, um, and in Alabama as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so we've been ministering together for uh, a little over 15, 20 years. Amen, amen. And um, God has allowed us to just, you know, see a lot mm -hmm, of things, mm -hmm. experience a lot That's of a things blessing. with regard to ministry. That's a blessing. Yes. And then uh, he's an associate pastor. He is. He's an associate pastor at Fountain of Praise. Um, he, he actually came out of about um, a year after I got here. 
Oh, okay. We made that transition that way because uh -huh. he was still working uh -huh, in uh -huh. Mobile and um, has come to Fountain of Praise and just been an, uh, a, a tremendous help mm -hmm. to, to our pastor with regard to ministry mm -hmm. and as well as um, you, you mentioned the building and the transitions that yes. it has made. Yes, He's played has. A, a major part in that. Yes, he and does and a, we're going we're gonna to hear okay. from him too. Yes. Well, we're going to talk a little bit more about you, but yes, we're going to we, uh, we're gonna interview him and we're going to talk uh, to him. But um, I'm just glad that you, you know, the Lord had put it on you. So let me say this. So the military life is what brought y'all here? Or? No, um, we were in Alabama. We had been away from uh, my husband's parents who lived here okay. in San oh, Antonio. Here. Yes. Oh, okay. That's what and you And most said. of his family. Um, but we had been, um, you know, away from his parents for a while, just visiting, being mm -hmm, able mm -hmm, to visit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And as they got older, we just you know, felt in our heart it was yeah, time to come and be time with to them. Go. Yeah. And glory to God that we were able to do that and spend time with his mother um, because she passed last year oh, um, in November. And oh, so yeah, we I were think able I did to. Remember, yes. uh, I, I came and visited the Fountain of Praise. Yes. I think I did hear something like that. Yes. Um, the, my, the name of my show is A New Day. Yes. And there's something new going on with you, right? Oh, yes. There's something new. San yes. Antonio oh, something yeah. <laughs> new. Amen. Why don't you tell uh, San Antonio what's new in your life, what God is doing well, in this season? The the Lord has um, blessed me to um, release a single. A single. Okay. I have been recording for a long time. I mm. released a, an album, a full album, back in 2004. Oh, okay. And after that, it's been th this long um, that I have been working on some new things mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. just trying to find the right fit with with music producers and so on and so mm -hmm, forth mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. so finally within the last couple of years I have been able to I've um, met some producers and that's we good. we have a great relationship and so I was able to put this single together that's, that's um, awesome it's called something about your love something about your love I, and I'm excited about that's, it that's God a is blessing good. yeah and you, you know I'm, I'm gonna say this because we're gonna hear from, uh, Sarah Tony, we're going to hear from her in, in, in just a little bit. But, you know, I was just thinking about you were saying that God bless you to connect with the right people. And, mm -hmm. that, and that's the thing. Yes. You know, you can have the gift and the call and everything, but right. we do need to pray that God connect us with the right kind Absolutely. of people to make, you know, Absolutely. To make things go forward. Yes. You know, we need people. Yeah. We need the right people. Right. You know, I, I've written books and, and I, I didn't, unfortunately, I didn't really connect with the right kind of people. And okay. I'm still praying that the Lord will, uh, will bless me to do that. And then that was in, inspiring to me. Right. You know, that uh, God bless you to get with the right people yes. to bring forth that yes. beautiful thing, you yes. know, because yes. it's in us. And like I said, sometimes. It, it takes a while for things to come forth. True. You know, like you were saying, it took yes. a while. Sometimes you just have to go through some things, mm -hmm. yes. you know, yes. before it, it come forth, right. you know. So we're going to talk a little bit more about that, but I want the audience uh, to get ready to, to hear this single, okay. to be able to hear you, hear you sing, and then we're going to come back, yes. and we're going to uh, talk a little bit more. But like I said, it is just so awesome to be able to, and you say you started at a young age. I did, yes. A young age, amen, amen. Yes. So did you know back then, or did you have a feeling back then that God was gonna do some more? Uh, I mean, did you have that clue? Some, sometimes we, we get in a place and God blesses us and we don't know what we are, right. is really gonna go there. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Right. So did you have that experience or, it, uh, or did you always saw yourself here I, I didn't always see myself mm -hmm. but I, when I was 14 I I led a song at a church there mm -hmm. and just the the way the spirit moved that it was then that I knew that God had called me to you know he had anointed me to do something yes. for him yes and that at that point I mm -hmm. begin, you know, it wasn't right away. I, I was young. I didn't mm -hmm. know. Yes. But, but that you was when I knew but that you just God didn't, had called me yeah, to do you, something. Yeah, you knew something, but you just didn't know exactly like what God to give us how. a little peek. Yes. <laughs> a, little, a little glimpse yes. of something. Yes, And then like, uh, and then when we said like, oh, okay, Lord, yes. that's what you was doing. Right. You know? I didn't so understand, I understand the anointing yeah, then. You don't understand yes. it. I mean, you know, a lot of times, a lot of things that, um, that happened when I was young, and then like now I'm like, oh, yes, you get it, <laughs> by and <Okay>. by, <laughs> yeah, by and by, yes. you know, you get it. You don't get it all at one time. Absolutely. We would now have to hell it, right? We send it all at one time. Right. So sometimes God has to allow us to go through some things and right. mature us, yes. so we be ready for it. Definitely. But San Antonio, 
I want you to get ready, call your friend, call your neighbor, <laughs> because we want to listen and hear this here beautiful single. Like a river flowing through the desert, sweeter than the wings of a dove. In the raging storm, it's my shelter. Something about yeah. Sun breaking through a cloudy day, a warm breeze after the rain. When I am down, it always lifts me up. Something about your love. I gotta tell the world, it's the only answer. Gotta tell the world. I need to look no further. I want for nothing. It's more than enough. Something. About Something. Love. Yeah. It chases all my fears away. When I'm weak, it makes me strong. Happiness is the word of the day. There's something about your love. It's that something that makes me smile. That something that makes it all worthwhile. It lasts forever, never giving up. only answer I need to look no further I want for nothing it's more than enough oh Everything all right holds me through the darkest night. There's something about your love, Jesus. Praise the Lord. I'm sure you enjoyed that beautiful song. Amen. Thank you, Thank you so much for blessing our heart. Thank amen. You. Amen. And God has truly have, have given you this gift. You know, I thought about how some people can see. They can see. But it's, it takes the anointing. Absolutely. You need the anointing that really, the Bible said that breaks that yoke. Absolutely. And you sing with uh, anointing. Yes. You know, and I have... Uh, sing you live in the service, okay. you know, you sing with uh, anointing. Yes. And, you know, I was thinking when I was on my way here, and I even wrote it down, how uh, God is looking for true worshipers. Oh, yes, absolutely. True worshipers. Yes. A lot of people is doing praise and worship. Right. But God is looking for true A worshipers, true worshiper. you know. Yes. And, and, and when I, you know, in your midst, I can see that you have that, you know, that true connection. Praise God. With God. Praise you know God. what I'm saying? Yes. And and that makes all of the difference. Yes. Amen. Yes. You know, and praise and worship. You you do praise and worship and you do also workshops, right? I do. I do workshops. Okay. Okay. Speaking. And so in this workshop, how do you how do you 
Yeah. Well, I, my, my um, passion is, you know, the music ministry and churches. And that's one of the one of the areas that I believe is has has most a lot of struggle with regard to the enemy fighting that. Yes, yes. Um, because the the music ministry is very important. Yes. Because it helps usher the people into a it's, place of worship. That's right. And the enemy doesn't want us to no, worship. He no, he don't. And no, so um, when I do workshops, you know, one of the things that I try to um, uh, convey to mm -hmm. to members that I'm serving is is how important, uh, you know, that this music is not just a song. It's yes. not just singing a song, yes. but that it is ministry it and is. that we need to take it seriously. Exactly. And that we need to work on our skill. We yes. need to work on our spiritual maturity yes. so that we can be effective when we when we do this. Yes. Yes. And so those are those are some of the things that I teach. I teach vocal technique and things of that yes. nature. Yes. But the most important thing is to understand how important it is to know that you are uh, ministering yes, to the yes, body of Christ. Yes, yes. And you've got to consecrate, prepare yes, yourself yes. And, and be ready because, again, you, you're coming up against All the enemy who doesn't want yeah. true worshipers to come forth. You don't. Mm -hmm. You don't. And, you know, as, as you were saying that, you know, I do praise and worship. Mm hmm. I can't say it like you. <laughs> but I can right. get down on, do you know? By Jesus, all he's right. all right. Those are know, the ones. I can do stuff like that, but I'm not ready to do no, no CD, no album, no single, That's no right. nothing. Mm -hmm. But, you know, uh, and the Lord let me know. I understand exactly what you're saying mm -hmm. because the Lord let me know years ago in my early walk in God is that it's not about rolling them songs. Right. You know, just flipping them Absolutely, songs. Yes. Next, next. You no. know, it's, it's not about that. Right. It is about you know, having that connection yes. with God, yes. you know, and God will put it in your spirit, right. put it in your heart. Right. And th and that's where the blessings come in. That's right. where people could really be uplifted and they could really be blessed. Yes. And like you said, yes, we need to learn how to say, I might you need some, to you know, skills. I need some, okay. some skills. I need some <laughs> vocal. I need to come and see you. You know what I'm saying? But like you said, it has to all come together, yeah. come together mm -hmm. you know, because God wants us to do things you know, excellent. Yes. He he, don't, he want us to, you could love the Lord and, and everything, but he do want us to give our best. Right. You know, give we, our best. Back, you, back in the day or back when I was younger in church, it was just about making that joyful noise. Right, you right. Know, it was okay if you couldn't really sing, let's just all get together mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and, you know, and, and mm -hmm, give God mm -hmm, praise. Mm -hmm. And and that's still good, you yes. know. But the thing about it is, like you said, God wants us to operate in excellence. Yes. And so I always tell the people that I'm serving, if we're going to do something for the Lord, why wouldn't we give him our very best? Our very best. Why wouldn't I work on my skill? Why yes. wouldn't I develop yes. the technique so that he can operate in that and, yes. and not just me just throwing something just throw out, there. out there. I don't, no. I don't operate like that. Mm -hmm. And I, and you mm -hmm. know, I, they, they tend to say I'm a little bit hard, mm -hmm. but, but it's important. It's important to me that when we st go forward mm -hmm. and when we stand before the people that mm -hmm. we, we mm -hmm. leave our heart on the pulpit or wherever we're ministering, yes. that we give God our very best. Yes. Cause mm -hmm. he, he wanted to come, you know, within yes. and out yes you know and like i said a lot of people they could sing yeah and they could roll them songs mm -hmm. but if you don't have that uh like the, your song say your song something get, about your love something about that love mm -hmm. if you got true worship if you're a true worship mm -hmm. of god mm -hmm. then you could really right. sing that song it's something about your love it's, you know yes. you could, that that song you know when you have that 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 worship experience with god and you have that connection with yes. him yes Things like that. Yeah. But, but can that, be true, out. that true worship comes from knowing God. Yes. Really having yes, an intimate yes. relationship with God. I can't truly worship something or someone mm -hmm. that I don't know intimately. Yes. And yes. to know God more, you know, is to love him, is to worship him. Yes. And so it, I can't make anyone know God. I can tell you about God. Yes, I can tell you yes. about my experience. But individually, you've got to get that intimacy. You've got to get that knowledge. That's right. That's right. And that's where that, that true worship comes yes, from. Yes, yes. You knowing God, knowing him for yourself. Yes. Mm -hmm. So on, on this here single that you have out, what inspired you? What, what um, for the name, wow. you know, yeah. how did you, 
How did that all come about? You okay, know? yeah. I, yeah. Was, I was sitting in the studio. Just I was writing and working on some other things. And I, was, I just began to think about my life. Mm -hmm. And if, if, I, if I told my story, I don't know if people would really believe it. Mm -hmm. But it, it's a story of just a lot of brokenness, m molestation, abuse, you know, um, that I came up through. And so, of course, it, when, when I was trying to get to know who I was, mm -hmm. I was looking for love. Yes. I wanted, I just wanted to be loved. And most people just want to be loved. Yes. And so I was, but I was looking for love in all the wrong places. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And every time I thought I found love, it was always a disappointment because I was looking for it in another human being or in yes. a situation. Yes, yes, yes. But then when I experience the love of God. Yes. That is when my life, my heart, my Jesus. mind, my thought process, everything changed. Yes. And knowing that, you know, it, I, ha I, I may have times of loneliness where there's nobody around. Mm -hmm. um, I know that he loves me and his love is unconditional. Mm -hmm. That no matter what I do, yes. no matter how bad I am, yes. he still loves me loves the same. You. I can't do anything to change his love for me. Yes. There's something about his love yes. that gives me hope. There's yes. something about his love that gives me joy, yes. that gives me peace, that takes away my loneliness, yes. that makes me smile. Yes. You know what I mean? And so I just begin to just sing a little bit about that and just, you know, tell God there, there, there's I can't really describe his love. Yes. Um, to a T, you know, or uh, but but there's something about it yes. that just keeps me solid. Yes. I, you know, I thought about a song that said you, I just can't. Tell you, you can't know, tell it all. I, I can't, I, I can't, you know, <laughs> it, it, I, I'm trying to explain it the can't best way it. I can, yes. but I just, yes. I just can't really tell you just yes. how much I feel, you know. And as you were speaking, I was thinking about how it is so many, I'm gonna say women, yes, that feels that way, yes, absolutely. They want to be loved, mm -hmm. you know, yes, they, they want to be loved, yes, and they and they're broken, they're broken women, absolutely, they're yes. broken, yes, and, and they want to be loved, and, and they have to get at that place and even myself mm -hmm. you know i had to, i could say i'm living my best life okay i could say that okay because Thank god because by you saying the about your song i could say i'm living my best life because i'm at a at a place in god where i love god and know god loves me yes i'm at that place i don't need another individual yes to give me this love right you know what i'm saying right so and then a lot of people we make bad decisions. Absolutely. I've made bad decisions yes. Yes. because I'm looking for that love. Right. And, and God is just right there. Yes. Want to love us. Yes. Love on us. The real you know kind what I'm of saying? love. The real, real love yes. on us. Yes. You know, but we we'll look to other things. Yes. You know, and when you were saying that, it, it, it oh, that, <coughs> that, that really blessed my heart because Praise that's where uh, mostly, I'm just going to say mostly women yes. need to get to that point. It, it's true. We, get to that point. You, you said it best when you said that we we make the wrong choices yes because it is we you know the fact that we just want to be loved and we just want to have affirmation that we are somebody that we matter and and most of the time like I did I was looking for that in a man yes. and so I felt like I was living my life in a way that I needed Yes. A man. Yes. I needed someone when, like you say, God was there the, the right whole there. time. And his love is complete. Yes. There's nothing missing. And again, it's unconditional. That's right. It never changes. And so um, when we when we as women, if we can learn and, and accept and embrace and, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and receive the love of God, mm -hmm. then we'll know how to love ourselves. Mm -hmm. And then we'll know what real love looks like. What it looks like. Mm -hmm. Now that's that, that's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> what it looks like. Yeah. Because like you say, when you don't know how to love yourself, how mm -hmm. can you know really what what love really lo right. looks like? That's you know, right. when that's you right. just accepting, you right. know, just anything. Right. And 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 I I I can really talk all day about this because <laughs> of some of the things that I have gone through. Wow. You know, yes. and, and um, coming up, I was a. Uh, um, I, I was brought up in a in a foster care. Okay. I was brought in foster care, mm -hmm. and I have no sisters, no okay. brothers. Okay. Wow. Okay. So I was really looking for some love. Yes. You know, yes. my my main thing is I, I you know, I got to get me a husband. I got to right. And I just found myself just repeating a right. cycle. Yes. You know, and, That's and it. got nothing out of that. That's it. You know, so I am just 
you know, I'm at that place, like I said, I'm living my best life. And I just love the Lord. Praise God. I love the Lord. Praise God. And you know, and I know you love God. I go I to do. I go to your church and I tell y'all y'all praising God. And I love that. Glory you to know, God. and it's so me. I, I, I we we running out of time. <laughs> we running out of time. I'm sorry, San Antonio, but give me some information about the single. For more information about my CD, you can reach out to me on Facebook, Yatron Weatherly. Okay. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, San Antonio, I'm, I'm hoping that you've already called your friend, your girlfriend. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm hoping you, you've done that. Let's love on each other. Amen. Amen. Let's, Amen. let's just let God love us. Amen. Amen.